The re-enter and roll is an excellent self-rescue. It's very quick, it's very useful at times when you won't really get the chance to do a full scramble or do a paddle float re-entry. All you do is get back in your kayak and roll back up. So I'm gonna use footage of my good friend and fellow instructor, Felix, and it was taken at one of the pool sessions held by Sea Kayak Connecticut in Greenwich. So Felix is gonna start by capsizing. You can start by doing that or you can start just floating or standing next to your kayak. One interesting thing to note is that if the kayak is capsized, the cockpit is actually full of air. So you could stick your head in there and take a breath before you attempt to re-enter and roll. So notice Felix is looking towards the stern. He's gonna do a fancy maneuver. He's gonna flip and slide himself back into the kayak. Once he has good contact all around in the kayak, he will roll back up. Now, you don't have to do the fancy maneuver that Felix did. Let's look at a video of me doing this a couple of years ago. I'm starting off floating next to the kayak. So when I'm ready, I take a big breath and I slide my way into the cockpit. Man, look at that hair. Once I have good contact with the foot pegs, thigh braces, and back band, I get ready and roll back up. Another good exercise is to try to do the same thing, but this time put your skirt on before you come up. So to work your way up to the re-enter and roll, first you need to feel comfortable with your roll. You should try rolling without a skirt a couple of times. It's also great practice because rolling without a skirt is actually similar to rolling with a lot of gear in your kayak. It's just slower. Just pay attention to your technique, take it slow and you will come up. So one very important item to note, keep track of your paddle. Out in the water, it's gonna get away from you fast. So keep your hand on it, keep it under your armpit, stick it into the deck bungees, and just make sure that when you're back in your kayak and ready to roll up, your paddle is in your hand and ready. It's also very easy to get injured if you're learning to roll on your own. So having someone that's experienced that can spot you or having an instructor that can give you feedback on the spot, that will really help and also you'll get your roll so much faster.